Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, this is the Four Tops, and they are singing, Reach Out, and I'll Be There. We're going to turn that volume down in the background. Now, because of the signal, they're going to be coming in and out, but they're going to be in my background, ladies and gentlemen. Wanted to talk to you all for just a second. There's a second video tonight. We're just going to be talking. Is that okay with you? That's okay with me. Okay. Well, as long as it's okay. And as long as we got our four tops, you know, because it's better than having three tops or five tops. We got the four tops in the background. Now, many of you guys don't know nothing about no four tops because y'all wasn't even around. But they wanted y'all to reach out. And they're they going to talk about reach out for who? That's right, because they're going to be what? They're going to be there. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, we got a couple of things. Two things that I do want to talk about. Um, I told you all, and I'm going to say this idiot. First, my past has nothing to do with any of these videos, but let's go ahead and get this straight with some of you people and the idiot who decided to leave me an email talking about my past more than... 24 years ago ladies and gentlemen apparently he says that there's a reckoning because apparently this idiot who sends me the email about not putting my trust in noble nor in the sons of men the first thing he does when he gets mad is he wants to bring up my past I'm the guy who did an 8 hour seminar in Cleveland Ohio and then put that eight-hour seminar on the internet, explaining to everybody what happened in my past, and let it go. From that point on, said I wasn't going to discuss it no more. But there are some people out there who think that, well, once your, once your fans, fans, I don't have fans, you idiot. Well, I mean, I, I have a fan in the living room, but I don't have fans. Okay, fans is short for fanatics, which is what this idiot is. Everyone... If you don't like the personality, go someplace else. If you don't like the information, go someplace else. But hold on, uh, Four Tops, give me one second, because we got to talk about something, so give me a second. But I want you all to understand, that idiot has been blocked from sending me any more emails, and if he continues, then you know we'll, we'll take care of things from there. Please understand, everyone. This idiot is claiming to be somebody's Christian. That's what he's claiming. Now, see, he's the moron riding around without license plates on his vehicles, and he didn't even do his research to make sure that if he's going to do that, that nothing can happen. But when he gets in trouble because he does something stupid without doing his research, the first thing he wants to do is come ask me for my help. But before he asked me for my help... He donated $50. There are too many of you who call me on my phone, whom I have conversations with, where we do that for free. You give me a simple situation and I help you with it. And I don't charge you a dime. I don't even tell you, no, you know, next time. You don't even hear nothing like that from me. But this moron who is not one of my people, thought that he could just throw me a bone and it wouldn't offend me. <sighs> Amazing. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is my show. I'm the host. I am the main attraction. I am that actor. I am the producer. I am the sound artist. I am also the stagehand. I am also the writer, the script director. I also direct the entire scene. I do the assortments and the assessments, and I also do the interviewing, and I do the costuming. I do the whole production. This is mine. If you don't want to be here, just click on another channel. Just hit that X at the top of the screen. Go on about your business. And so while you are being left behind where everybody else who choose to 
take the information in and gather the information. Everybody who chooses to go back and listen to the old video, there's a young lady who called me today. She was calling me about the hour style money orders because she doesn't know that I don't talk about the hour style money orders, that I've already done the videos. They're on the Eon One YouTube channel and that the new money orders are in the new contract, the redemption coupon contract, which can be found at salimited.com. She hasn't, she tells me she's watched video after video after video, but I've already explained that the hour style money orders now have an arbitration clause. You don't actually have to use the arbitration clause. You can just copy and paste the money order from right out of the instrument. It's not even called a money order. It's called a redemption coupon, remittance redemption coupon. We've done the videos on that. But when she called me today, I told her I really didn't have time because I was working on a motion and I haven't completed it. It'll be completed tomorrow. I, I've completed it, but I now have to proofread it and take some of the anger out of it because, you know. <laughs> well, she called me and she told me who she was and I remembered her. I had given her some advice to go back and watch the other videos. She told me she's watched so many of them. And so I told her the Eon One YouTube channel. That's where the older videos are, 2012. That's where we did all the videos talking about the hour style money orders. They were on the Legal Redress Commission YouTube channel, but, you know, that idiot took them down. It's okay. What I need to let you guys know is that my number is on the Internet as a courtesy. My email address is on the Internet as a courtesy. You don't have a right to that, nor do you have a right to me. I'm not your property. You did not buy me. You cannot buy me. I cannot be bought. You don't control me. You don't control my movements. Some of you have already turned the video off by now. You're the idiots in the future. I'm not talking about you, my people, my people. I'm talking about the idiots who've already turned the video off. You're the ones who are going to be contacting me in the future, asking me for help, asking me for this or that. And I'm going to send you right back to the videos and tell your anuses to go back and listen. Those of you who only listen to the beginning of the video, I understand. There are a lot of videos that I don't complete. But you're the ones coming here looking for information. Now, when I am trying to get specific information, I listen to the other people's entire videos. As a matter of fact, I have an awning, and I've been trying to remember that stupid word all day. I have an awning, the main awning for this trailer. I have to replace the um, tarp, the actual awning cloth fabric, and I have the replacement fabric, and I have to now watch the videos on replacing that because I will be doing it myself. I've already watched a couple of videos explaining a little bit, not fully in detail, and I'll be watching the more detailed videos. Now, I did download them to my phone a couple of days ago. Why did I download them? Because I knew that I was going to be needing that information, and I was going to be needing to go over the information without it stopping and starting and stopping and starting. And I would be needing to go over it at my leisure and not having to look for it that day. So I downloaded the ones I thought I needed because that's what I do. Now, because I do research, I made a promise to myself. I said, these people, they really, yeah, you people, uh, Ross, Ross Perot, you people. Anyway, I said, these individuals, they really don't know the angle of research that they should be doing. So let me show them how I do research. And the last couple of days, I've been doing videos and showing you how I type in questions into Google. Although I already know the answer, I'm not looking for somebody to agree with me. I'm not looking for a website to agree with me. I'm looking for my specific question to be addressed specifically by reputable companies on the Internet. That's it. And every single time you see that I say, nope, that's not the answer to my question. Nope, that's not even my question. The reason why I do that is because Google likes to throw you off. It likes to put suggestions out there to send you along a rabbit hole, to send you searching for something else, something that wasn't even your intent originally. Well, me, I tend to stay on topic. I love there was a publication by Jehovah's Witnesses called Reasoning from the Scriptures, and it had a section called Topic of Conversation. And it had conversation stoppers and so on and so forth, because a lot of people 
you're having a conversation and like to take you off a conversation. Well, I like to tend to focus on the main topic. Well, how come every time you're doing a video and you get distracted by your music, you don't even come back and finish what you were saying the last time? No, because that's not the important part. The important part is that I come back and I finish. Be glad I don't just say, oh, that's my song. And next thing you know, that's the end of the video. And I go listen to my song. Okay, be glad that that don't happen. You know what I'm saying, buddy? All right. Oh, I'm so glad I got that off my chest. You know, because... It's the kind of thing where I know this person. I know what race this person is. I even know his demeanor. I even know that he likes to portray himself to everybody else as being holier than anybody else. And that he goes to somebody's church. And in that church, he portrays himself to be a saint, so to speak. And it's all praise the Lord and may the God bless you and all this other stuff. I know that that's what he does. Now, as you all understand, that's not me. This is my segue into the conversation. Remember I said there were two things I was going to talk about? Well, my segue into the next conversation is I, there was a young man inside the facility. Well, his name is Big Lou, biggest guy there, you know, six foot six, 270 pounds, all muscle, been in for 22 years. Lou and I were working on the incarceration contract. He paid the fee, had his uncle donate the money to him. He paid the fee. And what I did is I reimbursed him $220 of the 500 fee for the arbitration out of my own pocket. Why? Because he was putting faith in a process that I had told him about, and I'm somebody he didn't even know from the street. Like I said, he's been in there for 22 years, so he's seen all the games. For the last three months, I've been trying to get my telephone number to him, letting him know he could call. The prison has been sending the mail back, not because of anything other than me being who I am, not because, well, you can't write him or anything like that. No, they just been RTSing it to piss me off. It's okay. I had, we have 15 companies, so we just sent him communication from the company. He did confirm that he got it. And here's the thing. Not only did he get a relative to communicate with us, and we just got that information to that relative, and he spoke with the relative today and got the number today, but he also received our letter in the mail today with the number. Okay, but we were going to make sure he got the number. Why? Because I gave him my word that I wasn't going anywhere, that I fully, firmly, and 100% believe in the arbitration and the incarceration contract, 100%. I am a fan of Bradley Christopher Stark, and I'm a fan of the arbitration contract with the arbitration clause and the Bradley Christopher Stark Act of 2016, that private law 114-31, or 31-114, sorry. I am extremely proud of that of Congress and their purpose section telling you what the findings of Congress was. I'm a fan. Why? Because to this day, nobody has said that that law was invalid. Go ahead. Look at all the cases. They have not even come close to addressing that law. They have not even spoken on that law. Interesting. So we have a case, and I'm glad I'm doing this video because I didn't even think about it, but we're getting ready to put the Bradley Christopher Stark Act into this case, and we're going to let them know that this court had no jurisdiction because Congress has told them to shut up when it comes to this contract. And this is what we're relying on. doesn't matter what the judge does, because once you do what you do, we'll put this before the appeals court. And if the appeals court disagrees with us, then we'll put it before the Supreme Court. And if the Supreme Court disagrees with us, then we'll put it before Congress. But one way or another, we are moving forward with the Bradley Christopher Stark Act, the contracts, the arbitration clause. Why? Because that arbitration act wasn't put there for businesses. That was put there for you and I. Go back and look at the Federal Arbitration Act. These are private conversations between private parties. 
and notice how section three, section four are written. Notice how section five is written, where the parties choose the arbitrator. That was written for you and I. So I spoke to Lou today. His name is Lou. And as we were talking, Lou and I, we spent a lot of time together talking, going over the law, going over case law, going over cases, me giving him the laws you did not know exist. I had copies of that with me, giving him the Arbitration Act. He went over all of this. He can tell you about arbitration just as well as any of you who know about arbitration can talk. And while behind my back, other people were talking about how it wasn't going to work and why you believe in that stuff and all that, I told him that I brought that in there on purpose. And when I came out, I'm still talking about it. I said I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't have faith in it. Now, just as I told some of you, I want you all to follow me. Just as I told some of you, I asked my God, the God that I serve, the one I call by name, the one I call by name who tells everybody in the existence on the planet, in the universe, in the heavens, underneath the heavens, that his name is Jehovah. Jehovah is his name in English. So shut it up with all the dumb stuff. I told you, I asked him specifically. I even did a video today specifically telling him I know the information is right in front of me and I know that it's right in front of me. And I said, you're the one who sent me in this direction and I know it's in front of me and I know you can help me figure this out. Next thing you know, today I'm doing a video and there's the information right in front of me. As a matter of fact, my entire search, every single search, the information's right in front of me. And literally I can't see it because I was looking at it at the wrong angle. But then it dawned on me while doing the video and you all saw that firsthand. Because again, my videos are not prepared. They're not preparation, they're just... H. They're not preparation. They're just H. Oh, you're trying to make a play on the word preparation H. Oh, that is so stupid. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, yes, many of you may have guessed it. When you look at This Is Us, I'm Randall Pearson. Technically, I'm a mixture of Randall Pearson and of Kevin Pearson. And I'm also a mixture of um, dang it, what's his name? Uh... God, the sister, Kate's, her boyfriend. And now I can't think of his name. Well, anyway, I'm a mixture of all three of them. So that's, I kind of like the show. I didn't watch This Is Us until this year. Two, uh, yeah, two, no, a month and a half ago, not fully two months ago, but I'm a fan of This Is Us and I'm watching an episode and I'm going to finish watching one more episode and then I'm going to sleep. Well, anyway, back to this conversation, ladies and gentlemen. With the incarceration contract, do not think I did the arbitration thing out of haphazard. Do not think I did the arbitration contract out of haphazard. Do not think that the person who brought the arbitration to me was bringing it to me because of his own will, his own volition. He will tell you and I will tell you. First, I took his call and I did tell him, normally I do not answer my phone. I said, however, I'm on my way to Walmart and it is 15 minutes away. So while we're on our way, I will talk with you. So go ahead and tell me what you have to say. And he did, and we talked. And then while I'm in Walmart, we're talking, and while I'm driving back home, we're talking. He's explaining things to me. Then I tell him, okay, send it to me. I'll take a look at it. I said, but I can't promise when because I get a lot of stuff, but I will take a look at it, and I never took a look at it. Two months later, he calls me back. Hey, sorry, I just haven't had a chance. Could you send it to me again? Because if I go looking for it, it's on all that other stuff, thousands of emails. So I need you to send it to me again. And I will take a look at it today. And I got it. And I started taking a look at it. And it took me a couple of days to go through it. And then it took me another two months to realize what he had. That he had something very special in an arbitration clause, an arbitration contract. And that's all I needed to see. And the rest is history, so to speak. Now we're taking trust agreements. Pay attention because some of you need this information. And we're adding an arbitration clause to a trust agreement. Everybody keeps talking about these ironclad arbitration agreements. I mean, ironclad trust agreements. And none of them have arbitration clauses. 
ours does. Why? Because with most trust agreements, people want to go to court. They want to go to probate to challenge the trust agreement. Uh Uh-uh. Before you even think about going to probate, before you even think about going to some stupid judge, we got an arbitration clause. Doesn't matter if you're a third party. That arbitration clause is the thing that nails you in the head. It says, stop right there. Where you think you're going? Mm-mm, you want to resolve this matter, you can go talk to the arbitrator. And the arbitrator ain't going to put up with your bull crap. Ladies and gentlemen, let me show you how technical, because everybody, especially if you go talk to the ignorant company, Penny Mac, they think our arbitrators don't know what they're doing. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go back to our four trops. Four trops. <laughs> That's how tired I am. We're going to go back to our four tops in the background. We were going over an arbitration that was done a couple of years ago at SAA. And this is when we first brought the people on and they were trained about the contracts and how the contracts were done. And one of the individuals was doing an arbitration for a client of mine. And remember, I wasn't part of the organization of arbitration. I was just overseeing the internet and overseeing the legal stuff. The same as today, even though right now someone else is working on the internet. Oh, Y'all know this. Do y'all know Sugar Pie Honey Bunch? Okay. It's the same old song. And I just need y'all to understand the full tops decided they want to be on again. I don't know how that happened because it's on uh, random, but full tops again. Ladies and gentlemen, I just need you all to understand this. We were going over this other contract that was done and a person told me, says, no, I looked at the arbitration clause and it said, estimated to be 70,000. The other one was estimated to be greater than 50, I mean, 70 million and 50 million. Said It didn't say a dollar amount. And I said, that's strange. I said, because I know that I'm the one who presented that contract. And I said, I'm going to take a look at it. And when I went back and looked at it, I added a phrase to this particular contract. I said, 70 million in U.S. currency. See, it said 70 million dollars, and then it said 70 million in U.S. currency. And it said not to exceed 7 million, and then in parentheses said U.S. currency. And what they thought, because it said estimated, that it wasn't a specific amount, but it doesn't have to be because it's the same as in a court case when they say unspecified damages. Unspecified means, but because in excess of 70 million, that means that it can go in excess of 70 million. The other contracts were saying in excess of 10 million. Doesn't actually say 10 million, it says in excess of 10 million. But the arbitrator was looking at the language and believed that the language didn't qualify. Now, I can't change the arbitrator's opinion. That's the arbitrator. And I cannot influence the arbitrator. And I would never try to influence any one of the arbitrators at any organization that for anybody, whether they're SAA or any other organization, because that's not my job. I would never try to influence a judge to do something in favor of me or somebody I know. To this day, even if you were to ask me to help you with your case, I'm not trying to influence the stupid judge. I'm trying to get the judge to be fair and to do what's right. That's my job. My job is not to make somebody do something because it's going to benefit me. You guys should know that by now. I'm not trying to get something that benefits me. Right now, I should be asleep. I have a headache that is kicking my butt right now, but I'm sitting up here trying to do a video, trying to help at least one person. And if I can help one person, then I've done the job for tonight. And I promise you this headache has got my eyes closed while I'm talking to you because it's that painful. No, 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 don't worry about it. I go through this all the time, so I'm just trying to explain to all of you. This is, uh uh-uh, y'all supposed to be on random. This is the four tops again. This is that sugar pie honey bunch. You know, that that's the sugar pie honey bunch. But what we we can't do that. It's not it's supposed to be random. And so we got my Oh no, we ain't doing that. You already sugar pie honey bunch is already in my playlist. I'm I'm using a different app. And that's my problem. I mean, I'm using the same app, but okay. Go to playlist. That's what I want. And we're going to go to my playlist. And when I go to my playlist, I can pick my song and then I can finish my conversation. Okay, so we're going to go. 
All right, I'm gonna let Sugar Pie Honey Bunch play, and then we're gonna play a little bit of Forever My Lady, okay, by Joe Desi. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, quite often I have headaches, I suffer from headaches. Today, this headache is as a result of the amount of heat that was there today, and I was actually trying to work outside, not during the heat. Nope, sorry, I was not working out during the heat. I actually stayed inside and worked on motions. And then I waited for the sun to go down, but then that's when my phone started ringing, is when the sun went down on a Friday. So I couldn't do much outside, but I'll do the same thing again tomorrow. Um, I got the fencing because we're going to be putting the solar panels and fencing. I'm just waiting for the fence post to get here. And the it's called a fence post driver. It's just a big, huge piece of metal where you put it on top and you just keep slamming it into the ground. Well, yeah, I got to put the fence post in the ground and that's going to be a lot of energy expended. And it's going to be an interesting time, especially with a person who ain't got no energy. So I'm letting you guys know that despite all of this stuff, I want you I want you guys to vision this, if you don't mind. Vision? OK, anyway, ladies and gentlemen. Imagine all of the things that I have to do around here, solar panels, wiring. I got the wires, ladies and gentlemen, eight gauge wire, a hundred feet. That's $70 for one wire and another $70 for the other wire. And it didn't even have black. I got to go with green and red. Okay. And I'm okay with the green and red because I'm going to take the, the green and what I'm going to do it's with the green. I'm going to take that green and I'm just going to sit up there and I'm going to take the black permanent marker and I'm going to mark it. Okay. Now, what happens is the device I'm playing the music on is a different device. So it wasn't set for shuffle. That's why the my four tops were coming. That's that lets you know that I'm a four tops fan because that's why they were coming on over and over and over again. There is almost 500 songs in my playlist before you heard me say it was 395 or something like that. No, we uh, added another hundred songs and I got to do, who is it? George Michaels and Tina Marie and a little bit of Tina Marie and Rick James. Fine. Does I, yeah, I got to do my George Michaels, Tina Marie. They're going to be at it tomorrow sometime. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, despite all of the things I have to do around here and the motions, because I'm working on several different cases for other people, but I'm also working on cases for myself. Then I'm working on the website, working on the different contracts, working on the organizations with an S. We're also acquiring other organizations. We're getting ready to hire new people where I'm going to have to do the training. Then I have to finish taking care of the problems I'm having around here with the government of the state of California regarding mail and a couple of other things and property and so forth. Then I got to also take care of the other problems that were already pre-existing before all of this. And then I got the people who I have agreements to work on their things. And then I have a young lady who I'm working on her bankruptcy. And yes, she needs time and she needs my time and she needs my attention. And I'm trying to give it to her, but I am being pulled from every end, every which way in any way. And then I have my number out there for people to call me. Then I have my email out there for people to email. And then I have so much going on. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am not stressed by the idiots who email me. I only bring that information up. That's why I don't give their names. So they don't get any credit for that. But what I'm doing is letting you guys know how stupid people are because they don't realize the amount of work that I do as an individual. But I guaranteed everybody, I said, if you helped me, that would give me more time to do research. I know that I've delivered. Nobody on this planet can tell me that I did not deliver. Okay. I told you that as soon as I reached my goal and I reached my goal before I told everybody when I did that no more donations. So if you go underneath the video, it specifically says no donations. That link is only for the what you call it those people who want consults and for a minute there the consults just would not stop okay i had like seven consults in a week and some of them two a day and that was a lot and i still got some follow-up consults because i still do that i still give people more time than they've asked for why do i do that because these people need help 
It ain't about the dollars. Okay, do you understand? That's why I'm not happy with the person who said he gave me $50. You didn't give me nothing. As a matter of fact, I wanted, I prayed that he would sit up there and take it back. Literally. I wouldn't have cared. Because I don't want to help nobody like that. Ladies and gentlemen, do you understand? I don't want to help nobody who's only coming to me because he wants something. I'm tired of people siphoning energy from me. Let me give the energy of my own volition. But don't sit up here and just tell me, oh, I'm, I'm giving you $50. That's how much you're worth. So here's what I want. I want you to tell me how to keep my house, my dog, my cars. And then I also want you to sit up there and pay for this and pay for that. And then and, and my cable bill, you need to take care of that too. And you see, I don't want to be around people like that because those individuals only have one thing in mind and it's called selfish. They're only interested in themselves. Because of the individual taking offense, you can see that he was only interested in himself. The fact that he decided to, well, I guess he called it an attack, attack me by even getting the facts wrong, okay? But anyway, he decided that he wanted to work on my conscience. He wanted to hurt me because he felt butt hurt. Okay? That's okay. Again, don't care. Okay? He doesn't get my help. But I guarantee you one thing, he's going to come back and listen to these videos, because he can't live without the information. That's a shame, ain't it? That's interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, the information, just like the gentleman on the phone, Lou, that was in the prison, our conversation was, as, as I'm telling them about me, because I'm on the phone today with Spectrum. Spectrum kept my account open while I was away, and they let it go up to $99. It's only $99. And they let it go up to $99 and they report it on my credit report. I'm about to get that junk removed. I'm not paying it. You're going to remove that junk. Why? Because it's got my score at 560. I shouldn't be at nobody's 560. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't have any credit, but I should be over 600 because I've had enough accounts that I paid on time and I'm 600 without doing anything. Ain't got no bad marks. It was just spectrum. And so I'm about to take care of that, get me over 600, and then I'll do a couple other things to stay above 600 so that my credit is all right, okay? I'm not trying to get to 700. Everybody else can try to get to 700. I'm, I'm not using my credit. I don't use it. That's why it's not really a big deal, but it's a big deal. Well, I'm talking to the representative, and the idiot is actually arguing with me. And I told him I don't have time for arguments, son. And so he, and I know he's younger than me, so I get to call him son. And he's sitting up there coming at me way wrong. And so what I told him is I said, you know what? I need to speak to your supervisor. And he says, well, sir, I just need this. And I said, didn't I tell you no? He says, but sir, I said, you didn't hear me, did you? I said, I told you no the first time. I said, I am more stubborn than you could ever be. And the guy, Lou, I was telling him about this. And Lou said, you better believe it. If I don't know it, you ain't said nothing but the truth. Okay. Even in that facility, I'm the same person. I have not changed. And that's exactly what I was telling him, that I have not changed. You see, the problem is, because I was helping him and others, they moved me from that facility. That's the normal routine. But they put me in a location where I had no contact with anyone. They isolated me for seven months. It was like being in lockdown, but not lockdown because the whole prison was in lockdown. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, when Lou expressed, yeah, I see you haven't changed. And yes, I could tell you the same person out there that you were in here. Look, all you need to understand. If you don't like what you're hearing, if you don't like, the personality, go to, go someplace else because I don't need it. You see, my girl, Stephanie needs it, but I don't need it. Okay? Now, those of you who come here for information, information that can benefit you, information that can benefit your family, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to try to start focusing on mortgages. We've already given you guys the idea. Now, look, somebody told me, he says, well, you need to tell people that if they're going to quit 
because if you're going to put your property in a trust, you have to quit claim the property into the trust. Okay, you can't just put it into the trust. You have to quick claim it into the trust. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't because I purchased my property outright. And I put my property in the nonprofit organization. I don't have to quick claim my property or the nonprofit organization into the trust. That's already been done. You follow me? Okay. So let's, yes, ladies, gentlemen, the information is on the website. Just click on that black button at the top and just follow the links. Do the research first before you start trying to form a trust or put something in a trust. Do the research first. The only thing you won't see in an information, well, there are a couple, but you guys will be okay with everything else. There's a couple of things you will not see. And one of those things is taking and putting an arbitration clause in your trust. The arbitration clause that is in our contracts is sufficient enough for you to get started with an arbitration clause. Okay, really, it's I, but it's long, sir. That's right, because it covers every angle. Look, there are several things that some of you guys won't be putting in your trust agreement because you don't know about them. Okay, however, because some of these angles of trust agreements are proprietary for SACOM, we will not be discussing it here. Okay? And again, there are several steps that you won't realize because you're not doing all the things we're doing. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, starting this month, July, we will not be doing any more 98 series numbers. Sorry, that was a decision we had to make. We had no choice because we are being interfered with as a result of so many people now trying to get 98 series numbers and don't know what to do with a 98 series number. Even if somebody sat up there and held their hand, they wouldn't know what to do with a 98 series number. So they're making things difficult. However, we were already leaving the 98 series numbers on a new SAT packs. So you guys are going to get an EIN, but it won't be a 98 series number. You'll get that information soon. So please stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, the new packs will be up by, we're hoping by the 27th or the 29th of this month. We said mid-July, they will be up 27, 29th of this month, just like the website is up and we'll have the pay link and all that stuff up. So please bear with me. I got less than two weeks to do that. Hey, this is my girl and she wants y'all to know more than a woman. If I was your man, she says... Hey, baby, there's something about you. Do you hear? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank all of you, those of you who are my people, for being my people. And those of you who don't understand what I mean by my people, you see, there are a lot of things my people do. My people will do like I do. They will listen to these videos while they're working, while they're doing dishes, while they're cleaning the yard, while they are constructing something. It'll be playing in the background. They'll be researching the information when they have a time. the time. While they're doing research, they're playing the video in the background. See, those are my people. Why are they my people? Because their intent is to learn. Their intent is to also discover the information for themselves, not just to take my word for it. They're going to verify what I'm saying. They're going to research what I'm saying to make sure what I'm saying is actually the truth. They're not going to take my word for it. Those are my people. You know who else are my people? My people are the very same ones who will do, like I said a moment ago, my people are the very same ones who will sit up there and tell you in a split second that they know that the information that I put on this site has to be the truth because I'm not going to sit up here and lie to a single one of you. As I told you in the past, I will tell you now, in order for me to lie to you, I would have to be afraid of you. And that was the one thing the people in that facility understood. I don't care how big they were. I don't care how many of they were. As I told them, I'm not going to lie to any one of you. I don't, I'm not going to lie to save my own life, people. I'm too stubborn to do something stupid like that. Well, stubborn and stubborn and stupid go hand in hand. Yeah, your mama goes hand in hand too, doesn't she? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, understand 
When I say that I am who I am, it's not that I'm who I am and I'm stuck in my ways. No, it's not being stuck. I'm willing to bend. I'm willing to be flexible. I don't mind bending and being flexible. My God requires that. But none of you, like the idiot earlier today, none of you get to judge my relationship with my God. How dare you? How dare you think that that relationship has anything to do with you? But when you go out there and you want to tell people that you religious, that you Christian, that God bless you and God bless that and God save that bull for somebody who going to believe that junk. OK, everybody, you all show your true colors when you get upset. And yes, 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 I'll admit it. I knew that if I spoke about the situation on video that I would get a rise out of that idiot because it shows the level of his mentality. Are you trying to bait him now? No, I'm trying to say it exactly the way it was. Go back and listen to the videos. It's obvious that I'm trying to get his attention. And I got his attention. But what is the first thing this so-called wannabe Christian did? The first thing he attacked someone when he got upset when he didn't get his way. That's what spoiled little children do. Okay, if that's the way you are, people, I don't want to deal with you. You, I don't have time for you because if you get upset because I say something not even directly directed at you, then what are you going to do when these idiots bring in that military rule that they're getting ready to implement? What are you going to do when they sit up here and spread this virus so rapidly throughout our communities that you can't leave your home for almost a year or more? You know, it's coming. Look, it went and it's still going through India. I don't even hear any reports on India. And I know it hasn't tapered down. And guess what? This virus is not Corona. Pay attention now. Go ahead. They call it a variant. This ain't Corona. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I'm going to say on that. That's my girl, and that's Stephanie Mills. And, you know, I've always loved me some Stephanie. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we played Prince earlier, and you don't have to call me anymore. And, well, I'm going to let Jennifer Holiday take us on out of here because that's what I need before I go to sleep. Then I'm going to turn on the Jehovah's Witness Convention. See, normally they do the conventions in cities all throughout the world, and each group of congregations will go to a particular convention for the area. Well, and they would spend, pay attention, millions of dollars to hold these conventions throughout the world. Well, this year, it's all online. Look at how much money they are saving. Yay, they're saving money. Anyway, the conventions are online, so I downloaded it. And it's going to play all night. And that's going to be my background as I go to sleep and get comatose because of having this headache. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Denise Williams and Stephanie Mills and now Jennifer Holiday. Let's break it on down. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And please do not be like the morons who wants to sit up there and remind people of their past every five seconds even if it's a hundred years ago, you see, because isn't that exactly what the scriptures that people claim to follow say not to do? I, I mean, I'm just saying, I don't know. Maybe if I was a pretend to be Christian, I'm, I'm sorry, I want to be Christian. Maybe I'm sorry. You, you know, that ain't right. No, it is right. It's 100 percent right, because that's hypocrisy. And I am so sick and tired of people wanting to claim to be a servant of God and not even coming close. But he tells me I need to take a better look at myself because a reckoning is coming. Lord have mercy. Okay. Jennifer Holiday, everybody. And by the way, if part of this conversation disturbs any of you, go someplace else. This ain't going to change. You see, I'm not expressing an opinion. I'm not expressing my mind. I'm just telling you guys exactly the way it is. I wish I could sugarcoat it because sugarcoating, sometimes that tastes pretty good, huh? Well, I'm sorry. I'm not going to sugarcoat it because I'm not here to make anything taste good. I'm here to give you what's known as the truth. Not your truth, not my truth, but the truth. You have to take that truth, research it, 
and make sure it is the absolute truth. If it is the absolute truth and you know that there is no deviation, there can't be anything other than that, then you rely on it at that point. That is a scientific method if there ever were one. Got to go because now I'm starting to yawn. Let's me know I'm tired. So I am going to watch at least half of this. This is us, season three, the end of season three. And then hopefully by tomorrow evening, I'll be at season four. Take care of yourselves, people. Stay out of trouble. Don't do anything stupid like stupid people. And we will speak the next time. Thank you, Jennifer Holiday, for taking us on out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jennifer. And she's saying, and I, and I. That's right, y'all. Gotta go. Take care of yourselves. We out of here. Get out of here. <laughs>